Hello, hello, my dear and lovely Aries. This is your horoscope for May 2024. <laughs> how was your eclipse season so far? And how was Mercury retrograde as well? Uh, did you lose a couple of keys or forgot to send important email or mix up the dates? Well, that was the topics for May. Uh, sorry, April. But for May, this will be a different month. Much, much way better. And we have Pluto, planet of transformation, starting its retrograde, moving backwards, meaning slowing down uh, from 2nd of May up until 12th of October. Now, almost half of the year, it will be retrograding. So you might be revising and doing all sorts of, you know, uh, reworking around the topics of um, bigger communities because Pluto will retrograde in your 11th house. 11th house is the house of big communities, your friendship house. So you might be, you know, um, going out, let's say, from some friendship circles or some social clubs or vice versa, going back to the old ones. Also, 11th house is the house of uh, future, house of our wishes and plans, future plans. You might be going back to your old plans <laughs> or revising them totally, transforming in that area. Some sort of new plans might be coming up in your mind um, for your future. Let's say changing the course for your future. Also, 11th house is the house of children as well. Uh, these topics might be coming back to you as, you know, in a way that you might be thinking about your kids if you have or if you don't have, if you want to have in general, or how to better provide them, how to better treat them. And in general, you know, um, this upbringing uh, topic of kids might be around for some of you guys. Um, 11th house is also house of online internet community. So you might be also revising all your online communities, might be reconnecting with your old friend through social media or uh, also signing up or signing out from friendship circles, social clubs, online social clubs as well and groups. On 8th of May, we have new moon in your house of money, earned income house. Uh, at 18 degrees of your second house, meaning those who were born around 7th of April, those areas, especially plus or minus five days around this date, will be the affected the most. New moons, you know, from the word new, <laughs> new beginnings. Uh, so here, uh, appearing in your house of income, it might bring you, you know, new, new job, new source of income, um, some sort of new bonus maybe scheme or um, rise for your salary or could be even um, a special and expensive gift because second house also rules, um, you know, expensive things like house, car, or some jewelry or some um, brand things, let's say. Um, and this new moon will be supported in amazing ways by Saturn, which will be uh, located in your uh, 12th house, house of all far lands. It might be that you will get... Um, might receive a gift, you know, for a travel ticket um, to some kind of uh, exotic islands. <laughs> but Saturn, you know, it's a planet of work and it rules naturally in your natal chart, your career house. So it might be also about some social status. Because of your social status, you might, you know, your social status might rise and your salary, of course, will rise as well. The money that you are earning, the money that is coming into your life, through your work, through your status, will double with this new moon. My dear Aries, happy for you guys. On 15th of May, um, Mercury, already in a direct motion, moves into your same income house. And your mind, it seems like, will be all about money around this time. Your earning abilities, what you possess, like material possessions, um, like valuable possessions, like house, car, or beautiful things, expensive things, what you have also about your um, maybe source of incomes as well. And in general, about what you value in life. It's about priorities, you know. Now, uh, let's move next on 20th of May. We have Sun moving into your third house. You know, second half of May will be much more buzzing because every 
you know, all the uh, planets, like most of the planets will be in your house of communication, in your house of signing contracts. So there will be a lot of chit chats with friends, a lot of talks, calls, messages, and also short distance travels as well here. When sun moves into your third house on 20th of May, it will light up that of your house. And those of you who have like siblings, it might be that your siblings will get momentum, you know, around the end of May, like um, major news to um, tell you. <laughs> now, right after sun, Venus on 23rd of May will move exactly into the same uh, your house of communication and it's all about as I said you know writing reading maybe you are giving a speech somewhere or you will get more invitations on that also it might be about um, you know your neighbors or relatives maybe they are having some major changes in their lives and sharing with you some news um, uh, what else siblings and also transportation you know it could be you know, your mind will be maybe on your new car or on the car that you wish to buy or actually to sell. Maybe you're selling a car. Or if you are a newcomer in this area, then it might be your driving skills. You might be, you know, busy all about driving, maybe having tests or uh, just getting started with driving li um, lessons. Also, mm, it's, it's about all about like, you know, short term courses any courses that like to upgrade your skills so around end of may you might be you know thinking and actually acting upon those areas like topics that i've mentioned and on the same day 23rd of may we have full moon uh, in your travel house at two degrees now those of you who are born around 22nd of march plus or minus five days will be the feeling the most of this full moon now full moons you know when the moon gets full <laughs> when it is round you know um they bring news they shine kind of light on some situation that was already bubbling up there you know full moons are getting full of information to deliver that exact information for you that you need to know so that's how full moons operate you know now it's appearing on your travel house in your travel house so here it might be travel is on your mind around end of may or you might be actually canceling that travel or maybe changing that some details about that travel or actually traveling <laughs> my dear aries now uh, Pluto, planet of transformation, will make amazing angle to that full moon and from your house of plans, you know. So whatever, uh, you know, planning, like trip planning, travel planning you've been doing, it seems like it will finally reach its resolution and you might hop on that train or plane uh, and actually reach your destination. Now, for those of you who are like in studies, this around this day might be the day when you graduate, when you finally maybe defend your thesis or your diploma. You are getting a degree, acquiring a degree. And it seems like this full moon puts an end to your studies and final results are coming. Also, those of you who are, you know, applied, let's say, or applying for a visa, all these sorts of travel documents, then this full moon might bring news for you on that um, topic, mm, especially on your application, the outcome might be there, or you might finally mm, get a resolution on any legal case, legal you know, proceedings. If you are a part of that case, or just you are observing <laughs> or following or someone else, you know, in this kind of situation, and you are some sort of a relative or a friend and you're somehow involved then around you know this full moon this case might get final um statement also nine house is the house of grandchildren if you're around that age then it might be your grandkid is you know um coming to this world and being a part of your family or you might just now know the news that you are becoming a grandparent also if you are you know retiring seems like this full moon will bring that perfect retirement plan for you 
Um, and those of you who have been writing a book or an article or trying to publish a research, also this full moon will help you on those things and will help you to, you know, for your book to get a light <laughs> and also to get accepted by um, publishing houses or by editors. Uh, also, nine houses in general, immigration house. You know, most of you guys, are, my dear Aries, like because of these lunar nodes, like uh, destiny nodes in your sign um, this two and a half years, most, like many of you will be changing quite drastically your life let's say moving somewhere else immigrating somewhere else or like changing your job or career or life purpose or also like a family so it's big changes for you guys so it could be also that you might immigrate around this time now coming to the luckiest planet planet of jupiter planet of luck and happiness i didn't say it correct i mean the planet of you know um representing happiness and luck and every uh, about expansion prosperity uh everything positive that is associated with this planet is coming into your house of communication on 26th of may now th this is a big change because jupiter you know transits each sign uh around a year and uh, jupiter changing the signs it's a big thing you've been enjoying since last year may up until this year may financial benefits that jupiter brought to you into your life like expanding your income um, sources your maybe new job opportunities um let's say more money uh more earning abilities uh improving your abilities expanding your world giving you those resources opening for you doors for more money let's say because it's your income house and in general boosting your self-confidence because second house is also house of self-confidence like it's all connected right how much we earn so that's how much we actually self-confident <laughs> and uh, now jupiter will be firing up your house of communication all sorts of people especially foreigners will be coming into your life seems like you are changing your surrounding your immediate you know surrounding of people like uh, that you talk every day like consistently routinely they are changing it seems like they are becoming more foreigners you might be actually immigrating or your neighborhood is also changing and jupiter here for some of you also represents your siblings it might be that if you have brothers or sisters they might have great news to share um for the next year a whole new next year up until june 2025 because jupiter will transit your third house up until uh, june 2025 and during that year it will be you know there are many news will be coming in from your siblings they might get married they might get uh, pregnant they might get divorced they might get i don't know win a lottery a lot of things might be you know it, with jupiter it's a possibility <laughs> everything is a possibility but of course positive ones because jupiter at the end is a planet of happiness and luck um also third house is about like all our communication skills it might be you will start publishing something or writing more let's say or uh, speaking more maybe you will decide to open your blog or to have a podcast about something or you know open your channel youtube channel and be more let's say speaking sharing with people third house is all about you know um information back and forth and it's also third house is a uh, new skills house it's our courage house you know you have whatever you need for, to make that step to you know you will become more brave you are already brave my dear aries but jupiter will fuel your this feeling even more to start new like learning new skills to share your skills also maybe learning a couple of languages maybe your surrounding will change that you start speaking different language as well also, some sort of like short uh, distance travels are getting a lot. Might be your, you let's say you got a new job and that job requires to travel you back and forth somehow. Um, also, driving license. If you've never driven a car, this will be the time when Jupiter bring that topic into your life and you will get that skill, you know, done. And it might be also you're buying a car. By the summer, you might <laughs> be driving a new car. Um, third house in, is in general also 
uh, our ideas, talks, what, uh, what we talk every day, topics and thoughts also. All these things are expanding for you from June to be exact, 26th of May when Jupiter enters your third house, my dear Aries. Now, um, and lastly also, you know, Sun will make a conjunction with Jupiter and Uranus. And, you know, they... Jupiter and Uranus, they conjunct uh, before already in April. That was the momentum. But when, if you think that you haven't felt anything, you know, as I said, it's a long kind of a term aspect. We might be feeling it up in, in May too. And when sun comes and lights up uh, these two together, <laughs> being a third one there, like from 13th of May up until 24th of May, you know, these days will be the most days that you can make a lot of money, let's say, because it is happening in your money house, my dear Aries. These days will be the luckiest for you. So note those days. And you might get the news actually of their conjunction when sun comes and hits that point. This was your horoscope for May, my dear Aries. Stay tuned for June. Love you all. Text me all your questions if you have. And I wish you happy May. Bye-bye.